Yo, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back. So, um, OCG met the game breakdown for the end of October 2016. So going into November, the last two weeks, so past weekend and the weekend before that. Um, again, all decklists used, all available decklists are on the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website. Links will be in the video description, so feel free to check those uh, out. Um, just to refresh our memories, two weeks ago I also uploaded a video OCG Meta Game Breakdown for the first two weeks of October and we had back then two weeks ago 191 decklists and these were the results. ABCs were still leading with Metal Foes uh, close, kinda close in second place but Zodiac Beasts were the new deck back then two weeks into the new format of uh, yeah with uh, Raging Tempest of course and uh, followed by Cosmos and then a few decklists all sitting at the about 6% like Dark Lords, uh, Dark Lords, Totem Pals, DDDs and Heroes. A few honorable mentions, the Lawn Mowing, Infernoid, Light Sworn decks and um, Ritual Beasts, indeed. But now, two weeks into the, at least yeah, four weeks in total, so one month into the new OCG format going into November. New decklists from past two weeks, these are the astonishing, are the mind-blowing results from um, yeah, so from past two weeks, we can see that the amount of Zodiac Beast decklist that managed to top uh, past uh, two weeks in the OCG meta game, well, yeah, in the OCG tournaments like locals, regionals, or any other tournament, Zodiac Beasts are sitting at an astonishing 53%. That's like performances and pals, you know. Uh, last year performances and pals level like the deck or a slash an archetype completely dominating the whole meta game and Zodiac Beast sitting at, uh, at, at like 53% is mind blowing. This means that about 50% of all the deck lists that are topped, or at least that, that all the decks are topped, is uh, Zodiac Beast or any kind of variant of Zodiac Beast. Since there are a lot of variants like Shadows, uh, Six Samurais, Light Swords, um, Cosmos is definitely an option. Metal Foes is the, I think, the popular variant, but uh, just to make sure. Or just to be clear, the, the pure build of Zodiac Beasts is the more popular one, followed by a Metal Foes. A Metal Foes variant with uh, the Zodiac Beasts as a side engine, as you see here in an example. Another way to run the deck is like Zodiac uh, Beast with Cosmos, but that's something we already know. But uh, yeah, you can see on the Yu-Gi-Oh! organization website that there are... Uh, countless of uh, uh, hybrids between Zodiac Beasts and other decks, Monarchs as well, Artifacts and the list goes on. It's crazy that like one set and mainly one engine of Zodiac Beast, Malmoret, their Tanky, the Triangle and a few other cards like Fiber, but mainly their boss exceeds. It's, it's crazy, crazy, it's mind-blowing uh, how this deck, this archetype is, uh, is plowing through the metagame over there. Um, anyway, second place, we have Infernoid sitting at about 10%, so thanks to the new lawn mowing next door, nailing like 10, 15, maybe 20 cards from your main deck instantly with only one card is just as mind-blowing as the fact that Zodiac Beasts uh, are gaining ground or just dominating the whole OCG meta game. Here's an example decklist of Infernoids, but um, yeah, this one I believe in the top first place in a tournament but uh, they also got a new trap card as well you know the one that you can special summon multiple infernoids from your deck uh, up to the level uh, 8 so multiple decatrons for example but uh, again uh, <laughs> Just because of one set, just because of Raging Tempest, this uh, both these decks, so both Infernoids and yeah, Zodiac Beasts in general are just plowing, uh, just destroying the complete OCG uh, meta game. And then third place. Um, no surprise, but the deck uh, declined a lot, and that's ABC, also sitting at about 10% of the meta game, so a huge decrease of uh, ABC, and they lost ground to obviously Zodiac Beasts and Infernoids, but uh, about the decklist, not much has changed. 
fourth place i think no surprise uh yeah both place number one and number two are like now number three and number four we have metal metal foes uh, sitting at about eight percent but again not many changes to the metal foe deck list and uh, a side note here is that both these decks so both abc and metal foes with the new set are currently like one of the or at least yeah, the best decks in the tcg but uh, it's 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 all obsolete since we know that uh, within the next three months we are going to get Raging Tempest and uh, Zodiac Beast uh, will enter our TCG metagame together with uh, yeah the lawn mowing next door card. <sighs> It's 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 crazy that you that you need to invest in these decks now, but you are kind of sure that uh, yeah we know that within the next three months that these decks will be kind of pushed to the side due to the new uh, cards from Raging Tempest. And then last but not least, to close the top 5, we have Cosmos. Also mind-blowing if we see like the decklist with uh, 3 Dark Destroyer and so on. And then a few honorable mentions and a few your, yeah, rogue decks. I have two honorable mentions. One is DDDs or DD, which has like completely vanished out of their metagame. The deck is pretty much at full force. Still, uh, they lost a few cards. Well, they have Slime, for example, is at two. But still, the fact that Dimensional Barrier is a huge card in the OCG. Uh, DD Crow as well, for example are just uh, yeah, easy answers to DDD. The deck is complicated and uh, yeah, Zodiac Beast are just too, too powerful uh, compared to uh, DDDs. On the second deck list we have Dark Lords. Well, pretty much the same Dark Lords. Once was uh, a, a good metagame uh, uh, deck to pick, but now again it kind of got uh, uh, pushed back, <laughs> pushed back out of the top five. A few players still played it and still the other decks are just, just much much better mainly zodiac beasts uh, again but yeah both these decks so both ddds and, and of course your um dark lords are still two decks that they need to be released in the tcg but if you see these results it's like we have we are outside of the fact yeah why, why should we invest in both these decks um outside the fact that you can just yeah play them for fun but competitively speaking we know that we are going to get raging tempest with uh, zodiac beast lawn mowing next door and yeah with these results we can see that that look at that, yeah, that new decks for us TCG players like Dark Lords DDDs. Hopefully, we, you are getting them soon. That these decks are pushed to the side, uh, all because of Zodiac Beasts and Inferno. It's it's mind blowing, but it's important if if people want to invest in the in the newer decks, and uh, yeah, they have to keep this these results these statistics in mind. Well, of course, there's a difference between the OCG and TCG meta game and ban list, but again, it's it's something to uh, keep in mind if you want to invest in the newer uh, cards. Um, okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching and feel free to leave a comment or a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave them signing out. Peace.